Hello everyone, and welcome to my Days of Our Lives Today channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. Eric accuses Sloane of being obsessed. Wendy is shocked to see Johnny propose to channel. Anne Stefan and Gabby discover Lai is aware of her deceit. In the recap for today's episode of Days, Salamites consume some drugged biscuits. Wendy is surprised to discover Johnny in the middle of a marriage proposal. Stefan mistakenly believes Melinda to be Gabby and kisses her. And Nickel discovers Eric dressed as a priest. Rafe and Jada confess their affections for one another in the last recap of Days, while Xander kissed Chloe in front of Gwen. Sugar Bits The Sweet Bits Biscuit Dough is contaminated with a liquid by a hooded figure. Channel and Talia believe everyone will enjoy the biscuits they set out on a table in the square the following morning. Talia observes while Channel speaks on the phone with Polina and the office is quiet. She cuts off and says to Talia that her mother was concerned that which Sloane will retaliate. Channel makes the decision to sample a biscuit and gushes about it. Talia chuckles. Sloane's residence. Eric and Sweet Bits arrive at Sloane's residence. She demands to know what the hell is wrong with him after learning that he was at Channel's house. In contrast to what she calls, he refers to it as just breakfast. Eric said he did it to help you finally get over it. Sloane is even more irate. Do you believe I should simply move on? Her mom was murdered. Her mom is not going to come back to life. Lone sobs. Although he isn't advising her to move past the loss of her parents, he believes that by focusing solely on her mother's passing, she is only doing herself harm. He wants her to quit giving them so much influence because he knows she will feel better if she does. She describes Eric as being haughty. He probably believes she is terrorizing Channel and Polina, she assumes. Sloane shouts at Eric. He freely admits that. Along with checking the mags, he believes she may have sent the letter to Polina. She supposes he discovered them uncut. He claims that when Polina received a threatening text, she was sending a text. Sloane ejects him and gives him the benefit of the doubt that she can now spend more time worrying about Chanel and her mother rather than waste it on him. He departs reluctantly. Demira House At the Demira mansion, Nickel delivers biscuits to EJ for breakfast. After their kiss, Johnny shows up. Because of all the animal noises in the room next to him, he had trouble falling asleep. According to EJ, it was their otherwise buttoned-up district attorney, not them. Johnny feels repulsed. EJ asserts that Stefan is merely attempting to con him in order to obtain Lee's Demira shares while breaking her commitment to lie. Johnny leaves to fetch a cup of coffee. Nick eats a biscuit once he has left. Nicole and Edge with some biscuits. Melinda is covered by a sheet in Stefan's bed when Stefan exits the shower. He is welcomed inside by her. She has been renting here for two nights in a row, with nothing except a sore throat to show for it. Dimmer romance Stefan's shirtless room. He'll pay her back, she sighs, realizing that it will only be platonic. With her dressed in a robe and them canoodling, they make their way downstairs, grossing out EJ. After a while, E.G. panics and tells his brother that Lai has seen the images of him and Gabby in bed that he possesses. Stefan and Melinda consume the biscuits. Melinda believes she is unemployed. She goes to take a shower. Although E.G. is defending the family business from a viper when Stefan accuses him of going too low. Grits his teeth, Stefan. Do not speak to her in that manner. E.G. labels Stefan a traitor. E.J. accuses his brother of betraying their father and all that he has produced. E.J. is hoping that his quickie in the cellar was worthwhile before he sold those shares. Stefan steps in her path to frighten Nicole as she tries to pursue him as he walks away. He is disregarded, and she exits the room. Going upstairs, Stefan begins making out with Melinda under the impression that she is Gabby, Wendy's residence. Gabby comes and requests Lies Eggs Benedict or his incredible banana pancakes as Lee focuses on the picture of Stefan and Gabby in bed. He says his father texted him to meet, but he's not in the mood. 
Lai and Gabby discuss breakfast. After her meeting, Lee queries. He hopes that everyone was pleased with how it turned out. She remembers having sex with Stefan and tells him that everything went according to plan. Wendy learns from Lei that Gabby cheated. He bangs his phone on the door as she leaves. She is a damn her. Wendy departs. Me? Lai introduces herself as Gabby and tells her about the picture E.J. sent of her in bed with Stefan. Gabby wants Stefan, her shares, not him. Lai screams. He claims he can't stop loving her, and Wendy is stunned he didn't confront her. He still feels that she should be with him. He picks up the phone and tells the operator that he can't give up on his wife. What is wrong with him, he queries. She refers to it as unrequited love and assures him that Gabby won't fall for him. He becomes fixated once she goes. Linda and Wendy are in an apartment. Sugar Bits Talia offers Gabby a free sample of the biscuits when she arrives at Sweet Bits. Gabby is in awe of their talent. When everyone is introduced, Gabby reveals that Jada's boss is her brother. Gabby consumes drug-laced biscuits. The two women must discuss how they complement one another. They both concur that it is unlawful to keep two individuals who should be together apart. They resolve to work together to develop a strategy for bringing their siblings together. Stefan calls Gabby and informs her that Lai is aware of them and how EJ snapped a picture and emailed it to him. Gabby sighs. It makes sense why he behaved oddly this morning. She instructs him to prepare his belongings before moving in. Stefan sighs. He has an odd feeling. He claims that blood shot to his head. They declare their love while being distant. Talia and Gabby's shared objective is to bring siblings together. Channel hands Johnny a croissant while he pretends to be a zombie. It impresses him, and he tells her that he is almost certain Wendy will leave him for Trip. She tries to cheer him up about Wendy, who he claims is seeing Trip, who is a doctor and is built and attractive and they talk about how Sloane has been terrorizing her. Channel gives a snack to Johnny. His mother is a patient, so that ticks the sympathy box. Although Channel encourages Johnny, he is not made to feel better. They recall how magical their vacation in Italy was. She recalled how thrilled she was to marry him. What a great guy, when he proposed. The Red Channel. Johnny appears to be a touch off while Gabby scratches her forehead in response to the heat. They get close as they recall a passionate evening spent together. Talia breaks in to announce that she is cooking more biscuits. Johnny makes Chanel a proposal. Because of his poor vision, Johnny can only make out Channel wearing the red outfit she wore to the altar. Just as Wendy approaches, he goes down on one knee and pops the question. Wendy was startled when Johnny got Channel engaged. When Gabby gets home, she is miserable. She says she received Lee's SMS and taps her forehead. He has a comment to make. She grins as she recognizes him as Stiffin. Lai appears to Gabby as Stiffin. Brady's bar. E.J. worries why Lai hasn't responded to the photo he sent outside Brady Pub. The office calls Nickel. He departs as she moves to take it. She trips and her eyesight becomes blurry as she answers the phone and finds Eric approaching in a priestly outfit complete with clerical collar. Thanks for watching if you like this video. So please don't forget to subscribe my channel and don't miss any update.